Hello people, it's me, Ella. I know you didn't expect that hot people can read. I know you're shocked. Anyway, let's not get distracted by me. But it's like, remember to like and subscribe and hit that notification button so even if you're sleeping, you can like my reading. Hello people, so this reading going to be extended. What are they feeling and thinking about you right now and the extended about their next action? I'm gonna link the link for the extended down in the description and you can email me also for a personal reading if you want a personal reading. You're gonna find the details about how to book a personal reading down in the description. Remember to like and subscribe. One, two, three, four, five. Choose one what are they feeling and thinking about you right now. Number one, this person is in very denial mood about their issues, about their problem. They don't want to confront their problem within themselves. This person trying to gaslight you to make you feel like this relationship is one-sided, that that whatever you said to them is in your head, that you're in denial about things. They want you to feel like they want you to doubt yourself. There's a lot of mental abuse energy with number one is too much. I feel like this person is trying to, this person is like not liking the way, they're very insecure about the way they love in a relationship. Someone before, I'm not making excuses for them, but their ex or someone like made them feel like that the way they love is not right or the way they love is not good or they made them feel like really bad about the thing that they need in a relationship. So they wanted to present themselves in a different way, but somehow they become like that person who projected all the problem and trying to blame you and trying to make you feel like you're the one who's like that because they were trying so hard to not seem this way i feel like there's a lot of mental abuse or toxic energy you need to protect yourself from this person also spurs saying right now i feel like also maybe confronted this person about them stalking you or you confront for some of because it's general reading uh, them stalking you or maybe this person you were like i know you like me or something like that you were like that as uh, something as very simple this person got triggered and they didn't want to seem this way or they got triggered by something that happened to them in a bad relationship that they were in with a toxic person and they were like no no i don't like it. they don't want to see in the, cl the type the, the clingy type you know or this the clingy or the stalker type something like that so they try to make you feel this way so by making you feel this way then you're gonna be like them in that relationship and you're gonna be the one who's coming to them it's like a lot of mental abuse within themselves and they're in denial about them doing something wrong even though they know that something wrong is going on and they're doing the exact same thing that their ex or someone done to them it's like they're trying to make you feel even if you're not that person they make you feel like you're the one who's talking to them or you're the one who wants them or you're the one who's clingy or you're the one who's like that they try to make you feel something wrong about the way you love them i feel like it's nothing big even i feel like maybe you're shocked about how this person is a narcissist or they're very toxic because you were like really being innocent or you're talking very clear with this person about things or you're joking around or whatever even if you had a fight this person was reacting really extremely to any confrontation you don't want to be having any confrontation it's like i feel like this person tried to make you feel like literally gaslighting you to make you feel like this is one-sided or something like that they wanted to see at first i feel like for some of you they wanted to see in a certain way with you and then you confronted them about things and then it got just intensely and then it's narcissist energy they got intensely in a very abusive mental abuse even mental abuse energy it's like they've even forgot why they're doing that it's like for you to like them it just that triggers is too much it triggers a lot of things and then they end up like making you feel this way because they feel like if they made you feel this way you're gonna be just as weak as they are and you're gonna be like no you're trying to prove that you're not that person and then they'll be like okay and they're gonna be feeling really that they done nothing wrong and you don't know i feel like this person in love is kind of clingy type is the kind of person who's clingy who's needy who wants a lot of things very romantic very cuddly i feel like their ex made them feel like something wrong with their needs i feel like they were not toxic this person but their ex was toxic and they made them feel something wrong with them i feel like there's a lot of mental abuse this is like yeah this person likes you yeah, this person loves you this person's obsessed but this person is very triggered this person is a narcissist right now they have a lot of mental abuse that they do and projecting on you it's like they even like they cannot even tell you it's like went too far like even if they want you to like them they cannot because you're triggering things that they don't want to be and really it's like they're trying to i feel like this person also noticed for some of you that it's not working on you the projection like they made you feel or they said the same thing that their ex said and it's not working on you number two what are they feeling and thinking about you right now? This person is genuine about like 
caring about you this person have a lot of care about you a lot of care this, this person want to fix your life want to fix your finance and they want you to be more stable they want you to focus on your finance they want you to be able to feel good within yourself like even if you're alone it's like this person wants you to have a better routine they don't want you to have that depression phase they don't want you to have that like they want you to just know how to have a routine that makes you feel positive makes you feel happy they want you also to be motivated about your career or things that you studied or something like that they feel for some of you they feel like you are like letting go of the fearing that you're letting go of your hobbies or the thing that you worked hard for they want you to be like they feel like you're not motivated or you're sensitive or you try to or you maybe you're just less motivated because you're not as good they want you to be motivated to be good it's like this person genuinely care about you and they want you to be good and they want to marry you or they want to build the stability with you they want to be with you they really care about you this kind of person who like this is the kind of partner that you want that they're gonna stick by you for whatever and this person is like kind of best of friend the family member it's like this person gonna be your best of friend and your lover and everything but you need to be careful here as per are warning you but warning me about something that going on it's like this person tend to if they care about someone it's like this person is very strong a very strong person even if they don't seem like that strong person maybe to you i feel like maybe if to you at first they sound like they sound like they're not that strong person because they speak about their emotion a lot and you're not the kind of person who speaks a lot about your emotional stuff like that but this is what takes a strong person this person is not shy or not worried about other people they just speak about their emotion for some of you i need just to say that this person just expressive they're not shy they don't have any insecurities they don't care about people judgment so speaking your emotion out loud and be able to speak it is just a lot of strength this person is a very strong person so they can take care of themselves but you should be worried about this person getting colder because this person yeah will care about you and they want you to be good and it could be like at the time that you were good and you're like there and this person made you feel good the time that you want to love them they will be not there it's like they will be so cold they will be cold toward the end and resent you. It's like not even resentment. It's just like they feel like it took a lot of the energy. Or they gave you a lot of things. They cannot love you because you were not there. It's like this person, even if they knew that you're not there and you're selfish, if they care about you, they're going to fix your life and they're going to be like, I cannot love you. It's not less anything. It's just they love you, but they cannot be with you because they cannot. They cannot. Like they feel like you just took a lot of them. And you're not giving back you're the kind of person who doesn't want to give back it's like this person kind of get numb and cold after like helping a lot of people they care about it's like they care about people but they don't want to be there because they know those people are not going to be there so be aware of like taking away from, taking a lot of this person energy it's like the kind of person it's like how to describe it it's like if your lover is given too much it's gonna come one day that you're gonna see that they're cold because you're not giving too much you're gonna be like yeah you know what no i feel good i just took all your energy and love now i want to give it back this person gonna be like not wanting or gonna be cold toward you so be aware of like being selfish not being selfish i feel like you're being a little bit selfish and you're like this person giving you a lot this person will not let you rat or in hell or be bad are feeling bad they're gonna be there for you but they might not accept you to be a partner because you're not giving or you're selfish number three what are they feeling and thinking about you right now this person lives in a la la land this person is in fantasy this kind this kind of person who want to be want to be that person for you they want to change for you they want to do that for you they want to take action toward you they want to do something but they're so weak or they're not motivated to take any action or to do anything kind of person who talks a lot or fantasize a lot in their head and they do nothing about it it's like this person fantasize about you a lot and they want to be that person that you want and they want to be that person and they want to do it's like why are you not taking action this kind of person i feel like this person is kind of person also is just like the kind of person that i would personally be really not tolerating because this kind of person are just like gonna give up before things are ending before things even are like it's like they gotta put failure that things gonna fail before even they start it's like they're gonna put the failure first it's like i'm gonna fail this so why am i like it's a race like i'm gonna fail this i'm gonna sit and they're gonna cry about it and they're gonna watch people going father no i cannot follow them i cannot do that i cannot do that they're gone they're gone it's like do something about it the kind of person will just gonna make you throw up from i don't know for me it's like i don't like those kind of people make you throw up like hey what's wrong with you just fix your shit like i don't like this weak ass energy the kind of weak ass energy so this person dreaming a lot about you they want to be with you but they don't want to do anything or they feel like they cannot they're gonna fail this kind of person will just like 
I don't know, you're gonna feel okay, fuck a failed yourself. It's like, what do you need? Do you need to be able to do the work for you or something like that? It's the kind of person like that. So they dream about you a lot, they fantasize about you a lot, but they feel like, I can't, it's too late, I don't know what, annoying. Number four, what are they feeling and thinking about you right now? This person, this person is talking to you. It's a general weakness. So if you feel like this person is not talking to you, then they're not talking to you. They'll be like obsessively thinking about you only. Some of you, this person is talking to you, is talking to you. Just follow your intuition because it's general reading. Some of you, this person is talking to you. For others of you, this person is obsessively looking at you. If you're at work with this person, obsessively looking at you, staring at you, or thinking about you all the time, or looking at your picture. If this person is not talking to you, they've got pictures. They are obsessively thinking about you every day, or looking at your pictures. They cannot break that connection. They cannot break a feeling that they feel toward you in general. I feel like this person is very, they have mixed emotion. They have anger problems toward you. They have like the triggers things that like you trigger a lot of shit. They feel like they need to be respected by you. They, they have their defense up high, let me tell you. This person have their defense up high there to the sky. I feel like this person is very defensive. They don't want to be broken hearted and they don't want to be involved in this relationship or be broken hearted by you. They don't want to be broken hearted. It's like this person is very defensive right now. I feel like this person just, they maybe got their heart broken before or they wasted, they, I feel like they wasted their time and their energy or in a relationship. They don't want to waste, some of you, this person doesn't want to, they don't like wasting their time in bullshit energy or a bullshit relationship. Possibly this person wasted their time before in a relationship that got them nowhere. So this person right now is doing extra. Like it's like your chance right now is you're there and they're doing extra with you by being extra protective over, the, over themselves or something like that. So it's a general energy, just follow your intuition, feel like your person, how are they, are they stalking you, or are they like that, or they do they have a relationship before, or are they just not with that, the kind of person who wants to waste the energy in any bullshit. I feel like also, this person doesn't want to be a slave for you, it's like this person likes, like that's the thing, like this person, if they be generally in a relationship or given too much in a relationship, they're gonna be given that person everything, literally everything. They gotta be given this person everything. This person gonna be taking control of them. So they don't wanna be feeling controlled. Maybe they were with a toxic relationship partner before, they were in a toxic relationship and that person controlled them or they were like took advantage of them or they played with their emotion. They were like, I'm gonna leave you, you don't do that. They played with their feelings, they played with their hearts or so they're being extra cautious right now, extra worried about their their heart. They don't want to be in it again. They feel like it's so scary. It's a scary place to be in. They were like in a scary toxic relationship because they were worrying about the person. That person made them like made them feel like they need to do extra and they're not good enough. They made them feel like I'm gonna leave you anytime. So they made them in a constant worry or heartbreak. So when they got out of this relationship, that relationship that they were heartbroken but they felt also like then later on time they felt like they don't feel that pain anymore so the relationship was toxic so they don't want to be in that they feel like they're protecting themselves so this is the thing also this person was not realizing it's like by them obsessively looking at you and being like with you all the time like in their mind i like this person also for some of you like being with you at work and looking at you they're already in love with you they're already in this relationship whether they're fucking you living with you or not so just something to throw number five this person doesn't care they care about if their finance they care about their wealth right now finance like career are they doing a lot of things are they doing a lot of hobbies a lot of activities this person is a very justice person i kind of just a justice person i said i swear i'm like looking at the card here and i was like justice okay and a justified person uh like this is the kind of person who also they don't justify people's shit it's like they do not like if you come to them, they like you justify whatever you done. And you're like, I done that because I feel like that. If they know that you're dumb bullshit, that you're dumb bullshit, they don't. This is the kind of blunt person that they are not gonna take any bullshit. It's like if you came to this person and you told them, I'm sorry, let's work it out. They're gonna be like, No, I'm not like a sorry and work it out is not good enough so i would like this person feel like whatever shit that you're gonna do is not good enough they feel like you you need to balance something they feel like this relationship is not balanced they feel like whatever shit that you're gonna do if you said sorry is not enough they feel like you need to do more or man up or woman up or whatever they feel like you need to do more in this relationship they feel like you need to show them a fucking miracle for them to forgive you or for them to let you in they feel like you've done something too much that you need to prove yourself it's like this person looking at you like that prove yourself like prove yourself what's special about you than other people it's like this person saying yeah i like you 
so much. Yeah, I feel a connection with you. Yeah, I respect you. Yeah, I have feelings toward you. But you're never gonna be here near my chair, sitting near me, or be like nobody. I don't like this person. No, like nobody, nobody around them. Like nobody that close. They will let people like closer to them, but they will not like as soon as they do bullshit, they push them away. So like, if you wanna be in that zoom, like this person, I feel like you don't understand. For some of you, it's like they feel like they never, never let anybody that close to them. It's like if you wanna be like that close to the place where nobody was there if you want to be that close maybe a few people or something but not as much for some of you i feel like some of you person had a relationship also but they feel like that place is very separate right now they feel like they would not accept you in that level of this place if you don't fix up your shit they feel like you need to fix your shit so i feel like this person like you but you get what i'm trying to say like you need to man up or be to their standards for them to get you back if you're not gonna do that shit they're gonna be like walking away for good so their next action going to be for the extended 